Hey, I'm Alan Fessenden, and I'm with Sean Taylor, who every October eats uh, 31 slices of pizza at 31 different locations, and sometimes with 31 different friends or more. Uh, today I'm that friend, and we're eating at Rizzo's Pizza in Astoria, Queens. Well, today I went to one of my favorite local joints. I live in Astoria, Queens, and Queens gets a reputation for not having good pizza. Rizzo's Fine Pizza proves all that wrong. I love Rizzo's Pizza. It's not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump from me, but it's worth the 12 blocks it, it took to get there, and it's even worth a trip from Manhattan, in my opinion, if you really love pizza and you're looking for a unique Sicilian-style crust. Yeah, it's what we're known for. It doesn't come with toppings unless you want. It's a um, really good whole tomato that we grind and then season. Uh, a blend of grated cheese, Parmigiano Romano, and a thin slice of grande whole milk mozzarella. It's just a, a flavor concoction that is absolutely delicious. It brings out the full, uh, the full taste of the tangy tomato sauce, which there's plenty of. I mean, I went in there only to get one slice, and I ended up eating two slices and then an entire personal um, mafiosa. And what you had was the mafiosa, which is, again, the same sauce, cheese, and dough, on a very, very thin crust with uh, ground sausage. Uh, capers, black and green olives, roasted red pepper. This is a cracker thin pizza, which is nice because that means you can eat the whole thing yourself. Um, I did eat the whole thing myself. <laughs> Initially we got it for two people, but uh, uh, because there's sausage on it, and the person I went with uh, is a vegetarian, I decided I would eat my half and then I would eat his half. Uh, I ended up eating his half first, but I eventually got around to my half. It was so good. Overall, I give Rizzo's Fine Pizza a 4.5 out of 5. For more information, check out my blog located at 31daysofpizza.com.